Hello there, I have a new hair thingy in my bob. It looks disgusting. Um, I have done experiments on my hair before, okay? It's not the first time. <laughs> anyway, I will keep the hat on, okay? And I'm sick, by the way. And yes, I think it's this. I'm 99% sure that it's the fee that everyone's afraid of. Just my brother tested positive for that. And uh, I'm not gonna get into the details. I'm feeling alright for now. Everybody stay calm! We're all gonna die! I just have stuff nose and I cannot smell stuff. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. I haven't done a tutorial in a while because I wasn't quite really confident with my amazing voice and I had other plans to do a different video but we're gonna do this for now. I wanna burp. My bottle is the background and it's a, a filk background and here I have a bear which is on top of that. Now if I move my this bear, if I move it to be behind the background, obviously you're not gonna see the bear anymore because it's behind the background. It's on the bottom. It's right down. If I move it on top of the background, then I'm gonna see it. So I hope that you understand this concept, right? Um I want to see my animation. Uh, to end on the specific frame I want and right now I want my animation to end on the third frame which is here is the number on the frames if you, if you move your marker on different frames you will see the number of that specific frame so I want my animation to end on the frame 3 so if I move this to frame 3 as you notice there's a start and an ending point the the starting point by default is always at frame 0 because in Twitter we count the frames from 0 to whatever number you enter. In my case this is frame 0 and the end will be frame 3. And now if you play this, this will happen very fast. And how we can slow this, right? This is the question, how we can slow this down? Well, there's a couple of ways to do that. Obviously, the first thing that you need to take care of is your frame rate. The frame rate, as I mentioned, is over here. So you need to make sure to change here and not in your rendering uh, window. I'm going to show you this. Right now, this is very fast, right? And don't try to animate, uh, animate on 30, 30 frames or 60 frames. It's just a waste of time. You're going to get frustrated. And your typical hand-drawn animation usually is on the frames. So or below so in my case it's very fast right how i can, how I can slow uh slow this down well to change the frame rate now i don't want to make this higher obviously but i can make this lower and my first thought is why not i can make this to be 12 frames per second i can play this again and it's slightly like a lot a lot slower than the initial one it's still fast though so i can even slow it down because I can put this to be 8 frames per second. It's very handy when you try to make a um, uh, pixel uh, animation with a lower frame rate. Right now, this is, I think, it's okay now. Now, what else we can do with this animation? As you notice, this animation is animated. The bear is animated on once. What, what this means is, if I zoom here to show you, I have one frame over here, one over here, one over here, and one over here. In all those four frames, I have a different drawing. So this whole animation is animated on once, which is not ideal. By the way, do not do that. Again, you're gonna hate your life. I do not recommend that. Um, usually, you see animator, animators uh, animating on twos, which means uh, that this one frame that you see here, this one drawing, will be visible for two frames. So let's let's try to do this. How we can make this animation to be animated on twos? Well, to move the other frames. If you hold control and select the other frames and try to move them one frame aside on the right, you will have this frame here that now will be visible for one frame and a second frame. The rest, as you see, they are still uh, animated on once. So we need to move the rest. So from here, Again, taking control here, there you go. So now if I play this, technically now my anim and my keyframes, my animation is animated on twos. Technically I said, let's just play this. 
now is significantly, significant, significant. It's way slower, and I don't like this. But there's a problem. See, this frame. Yeah, this frame is visible for this drawing, if you will, is visible for two frames. One, two. This frame is visible for one, two. One, two. This frame, though, is number six. But if I go here and check where exactly my animation is ending, my animation is ending on the sixth frame, which means that is this frame is visible for only one frame, and I want this frame to be visible for two. So I need to change this here instead of six, to be the next frame over here, which is frame 7. There we are. So now this whole animation is uh, animated on twos. It is very slow. So again, I have to come back here and instead of 8 frames per second, I can do 12 now. And let's see the, the speed of this. It's slightly better. Slightly better. Now, I did try something else too with the spacing, which is this one. Which, uh, uh, as you notice, I cover my my keyframes with, with the different colors, uh, and I'm assuming that this one should end not on the frame seven, but should end, end on the frame six. So I need to change this again because I already made changes before. And now let's see how this one looks. I I think this one looks a little bit better. What is happening here though is the first frame. Is visible for two frames. This drawing is visible for two drawing. One, two. The second one is visible for only one frame, and immediately that's cha this changing to this frame, which is again visible for one, two frames, and then this frame, which is visible for two. Or we can end it over here. Depends though. Let's just try to end it on the frame five, and it's about experimenting and see how it looks. Uh, I think I think that's that was the original plan to be honest to look like this to end on the fifth frame, and again my frame rate is twelve. I can make this twenty four, or then yeah. And when I make this twenty four, you see that it's way way faster. So if I stop hit this and I want to keep my frame rate to be twenty four, what I can do is not change it because let's say you don't want to change it, you have to just space out your frames that you have here so right now uh we can double the um the frames we can make this frame to be visible instead of two frames we can make it vis visible to be four frames how we can do that again hit control to uh, select more than one frame and move this with two squares on the right so now this frame over here will be visible for one two three four frames this frame could be visible for two frames let's see uh, this one was visible for two now it can be visible for four frames i did not do this properly. one two there you go. one two three four and this frame has to be visible for four as well one two three maybe three how about three? Or oh, maybe we can do twelve ah you need to experiment as i said let's see if this is better it is slower compared to the other one, and yet, if you think about it, the frames are still 24, but yet the animation now is slower because we space out the frames that we already have. Now here, here comes the, tri the tricky part, as I said. This speed here, do not mess with this. This does not affect your final animation. It does affect the performance that you see here on the screen, but only for you. Once you go to file, and then you go to render animation, I click something else. Uh, what is it? Render animation. There you go. Once you get the screen, this window, you have a bunch of options how you want to export this. Now, recently, I also have having troubles with the this build up, and as you notice here, if I'm on video, the build up is missing. So every time when I want to export something, it, it always the build up is missing. So I have to redirect the folder that I have on my computer and say, "Hey, it's here, click So just use this path, you idiot." It's annoying, but uh, they will fix this. I, I believe they should fix it, right? But if if the build-up does not work for you, you can always export this into an image sequence, and then you can bring that to a video editing software, and you can solve your problems. But if you want to export this in a video, or into a, a, a GIF, 
as you notice there are the same options here and I know that some of you said that you change the options here you make this uh, a bigger number or a smaller number and yet you didn't export this properly uh, now I also saw comments that someone said that they um geez, uh, they they couldn't export any of the frames and I tried to look up uh, one of because uh, there are like there are forums out there uh, and I tried to see what could be the problem. The thread that I was looking for was from 2018. So they were suggesting that from the filter here, you can change this to either this or this by linear or try the other ones and see which one will do. Also, if you are trying to export image sequence, make sure you don't have this click on because this thing, if you have this click on, it will export only the keyframes that you have. So it will export this keyframe, this keyframe, this keyframe, and this keyframe. It won't export the rest of the frames. So uh, this is, I think, good to know. But the only solution that I saw when it doesn't want to export any of the, of the frames, try, try changing this over here. After you've done your spacing right and your animation is playing normal, again, do not touch the speed. Just try to space out your keyframes in a way that they will, uh, you know, work properly. Uh, and from here, if you still have trouble, try to change the filter to one of the others. And it, I guess it, this is like, it really matters uh, because uh, of your PC or a laptop or, or a Mac or whatever you're using. Uh, try to see which one works for you. I hope this was helpful. Um, uh, yeah, I'm, I have been... I don't have the symptoms, which is kind of annoying. I have to wait and I have to isolate myself. I've been doing that since 27 years. Nice. Anyway, enjoy the side. Uh, I hope you're doing well and I hopefully I will see you soon. Stay uh, healthy. No, stay safe. Stay. I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, don't look at my hair directly. You will go blind. Good. Bye.